Now, the straw has that actually sail away from the Hoke Cake Island territory, which they almost at the edge. Now, to get away from it, they had to keep sailing until they actually got through the cotton candy fluff they're passing through. Around the same time that we actually seen Sanji hurrying about Pero actually sacrificing himself for him. After meeting him for the first time, remembering his first encounter during the Soul Arc, in which he actually blamed himself for what actually happened, because he actually never thought that he would die like that, but then Carrot actually told him, don't blame himself, because this is a choice that Peril made. Then she actually burst into tears and telling him, don't forget to offer his thanks, in which Sanji comforts her as she cries for Pero, and he knew what kind of man he is. Which we actually seen how the fish, the sun pirates, and Jerma 66 are actually battling Big Mom forces while putting Ashley Stan in a alleyway. Ashley heard about what happened, and we and we call the events during the entire arc, which we seen her make fun of Sanji going through the wedding and bailing the cake to calm Big Mom down. And the last favor that she actually asked for him was to erase the memory of the events that actually happened. Which we actually seen Big Mom, I mean the Sun Pirates overpowering the Big Mom Pirates and the Jerma 66 are withdrawing. Which Big Mom is on her way back to the islands and during the mirror world we see Bulin actually helping Dogtooth and recovering from his injuries which she actually reminded him about the time that he hide his face which he actually did throughout the years which in his childhood we see him eating donuts while Pero Sparrow told him to put on a scarf to hide his face, in which he actually is happy the way he is. But it isn't until everybody actually look at him as a monster. But one day, he actually took revenge for Bulin for the guy, after the guys who cut her face. We actually seen what he's capable of and how he actually unleashed his hikey and we actually seen how the Jerma 66 and the Sun Pirates are about to escape as Jinbei promised Luffy that he would turn in return to Wano safely but Big Mom actually appears and asking them life or death. Meanwhile, back at the Sunny, after they escaped the whole cake territory, Sanji is actually preparing a meal for them. Around the same time in the East Blue on the Brontier, Seth is actually creating a meal, which they actually prepare the same dish as they actually have made it together. And they actually like father and son, they made the same dish for them and their guests. And that's the end of the, the, end of the Whole Cake Island anime arc, as this is the last episode. Now, I'm actually happy of how the Whole Cake Island arc actually ends, with the conclusions and everything actually happened, including the battle, Especially the Luffy versus Sanji battle, and also the entire fight, including the wedding, actually worked out pretty well. And we actually gonna go next week as we see the review 
we the reveal arc where we seen the Straw Hats allies are actually headed over to the Holy Lands for a summit. So I can't wait to see the reveal arc begins next week. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and come in with thinking about the episode in the final episode of the Whole Cake Island arc. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Amy Guy joining here saying sign out. Laters!